Hello friends, I am Rajini Shastandran. Welcome back to my channel where we are going to study about uh, the mechanics of machinery. And in this particular video, we are going to study about the construction of cam profile when a roller follower is moving with a cycloidal motion. So in the previous uh, videos, we have studied about uh, uniform velocity, simple harmonic motion and uniform acceleration and uniform retardation motion. And in this particular video, we are going to study about the construction of cam profile for a roller follower when it is moving with a cycloidal motion. So you can see the question in your screen right now. Draw the profile of the cam when the roller follower moves with cycloidal motion during outstroke and return stroke as given below. Outstroke with the maximum displacement of 31.4 mm during 180 degree of cam rotation, return stroke for the next 150 degree of cam rotation, del for the remaining 30 degree of cam rotation. The minimum radius of the cam is 15 mm and the roller diameter of the follower is 10 mm. The axis of the roller follower is offset by 10 mm towards the right of the axis of the cam shaft. So this is the question and we know that we are going to construct the cam profile for a cycloidal motion. So we know that for a cycloidal motion, for, for a cycloid there is a generating circle. So you have to understand that we have to calculate the radius of the generating circle with the data as given below. It is given that the stroke length is 31.4 mm. That means this height will be 31.4 mm. Outstroke is 180 degree, return stroke is 150 degree and del is 30 degree which is given. So we have to calculate the radius of the generating circle. The radius of the generating circle, the radius of the generating circle can be calculated by using the formula R is equal to stroke length divided by 2 pi that is 31.4 divided by 2 pi that is equal to 5 m. So, we have obtained the radius of the generating circle as 5 mm. Okay. Now, we are coming to the displacement diagram. This is outstroke, return stroke, and then divide the outstroke into 6 equal parts. And the return stroke also into 6 equal parts. Now this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. This is 6 dash itself, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12, the remaining portion is there. So the method of constructing the displacement diagram for a cycloidal motion is, first we have to calculate the radius of the generating circle that we have calculated. At this point, you have to draw the circle having the radius as the radius of the or we have to uh, draw the generating circle here that means uh, draw a circle having 5 mm radius so this is a circle of 5 mm radius now the method is keeping this line horizontal line divide the circle into 6 equal parts Divide the circle into 6 equal part means uh, every angle will be 60 degree. So, now the circle is divided into 6 equal parts. Draw a line like this connecting these two points. Draw a line like this. Connecting these two points draw a horizontal line like this. Understood? Connect this point with this point using a line. From this point, draw a line parallel to this one towards this in this direction. This line is parallel to this one. From this point also, draw a line parallel to this one. This is the line. Now, see. 
this line met with this line at some point, two points. One point is here, second point is here. This is the center line, so select this point. This 4 and 5 meet this line here and here. This will be the final point. Understood? I will uh, tell again. One point will be this one. Starting point will be this one. The middle point will be this one. So, this is the middle line. So, these two endpoints and the middle point will be lying on the same line itself. This is the line which comes under this line. On that line, obtain two points. One point belongs to the vertical line through 1 and another point belongs to the vertical line through 2. So, this will be the two points. Similarly, here on this line, locate two points, one on the vertical line through 4 and another on the vertical line through 5. This is the method of obtaining the points on the displacement diagram when it is moving the cycloidal motion. So, this will be our 0, this will be our A, this will be B, here it will be C, D, E and F. So, this is the initial portion of the cycloidal cup. Now, the same can, has to be obtained here also, right? In this uh, return portion also. The third is, see this is diameter 5 mm. Diameter 5. Generating circle. Draw another generating circle here with the same 5 mm radius. Divide that also into 6 equal parts. Draw a line here. Draw a line here. Connect this point with this point. Now, through this point, draw a line parallel to this line. Through this point, draw a line parallel to this one. So, we know that according to the shape of the curve, the points G, this will be G or G only, H and I will be on the upper side of the middle line. So, this will be one point, this will be another point, this is the middle point. The remaining two points will be on the lower side of the middle line. So, this will be one line, this will be one and this will be the final portion. I hope all of you have understood. See, this is the direction of the curve or the uh, way of obtaining that curve. So, the first point, two points in this direction will be on the upper side of this line and the remaining two points will be on the lower side, uh, side of this line. So, this will be our H, this will be our A, middle point J, this will be our K, L and M. So, this is how the displacement diagram is obtained when it is moving with the cycloid motion. Is it clear? So, the rest you can simply construct it as explained in the previous videos. So, I hope all of you have understood how to construct the displacement diagram for a cycloidal motion and uh, I think all of you have know how to construct uh, the cam profile when uh, radial follower is given and the minimum radius is given, the radius of the roller is given and the offset is given. You can see the final constructed cam in your screen right now. So, I hope all of you have understood. Thank you.